I will read the speech for the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, uh, Minister Senzeni Zokwan, who could not be with us today. Program Director, Dr. Monique Eloa, Dr. Peter Jeffries. I wish to observe all protocol. Uh, good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, bonjour, bon dia, dumelang san bonani, khoye muore. Today is a happy day for South Africa and the African continent at large, as we are privileged to host the first regional conference on the role of veterinary and para-veterinary professionals in Africa. We are indeed privileged to host this event at which we aim to improve the field of operation of veterinary services by strengthening the linkages and collaborations between veterinarians and para-veterinarians. Ladies and gentlemen, food insecurity remains an everyday challenge for almost, for many people worldwide. Across the developing world, the majority of the poor and most of the hungry live in rural areas. Hence, hunger eradication should remain a key commitment of decision makers at all levels. This eradication should be done hand in hand with attempts to grow the economy and alleviating poverty. The growing of the economy should inherently also promote equitable access to food and other resources to particularly underprivileged communities. The South African government as a developmental state is doing its best to link its activities with outcomes that will address socioeconomic issue, issues such as food insecurity or food security. We understand that job creation can address poverty significantly and in the long run may lead to economic growth. The livestock farmer in particular needs the utmost support from a point of view of production and the control of animal diseases. Until 1987 in this country, there was hardly any uh, veterinary service to mainly black rural communities. The first veterinarian of color started in rural communities in around 1988. During the, this time, stock inspectors played a significant role in the, in the control of animal diseases. In some cases, like in the case of rinderpest, managed to help in the eradication of the disease. Animal health is one issue that is rated very highly by livestock owners. With the emergence of commercial and semi-commercial farmers amongst those who used to, be, to farm for subsistence, the need for more focused veterinary services has emerged. Global trade in animals and their products has led to increased possibilities of rapid spread of diseases, or animal diseases. This rapid spread of animal disease is increased by improved transport, transportation worldwide. Worldwide, veterinarians are not evenly distributed. There is a tendency of clustering of veterinarians in big cities because of the better opportunities perceived to exist in those cities. Failure of the veterinary profession to detect animal diseases and control them early could be detrimental. These diseases are not only limited to livestock, but include the whole spectrum of diseases in which in wildlife, fish, bees, fish, bees, and other terrestrial animals. Majority of the infectious diseases that afflict human beings, as we all know, have their origin in animals. Just imagine or just think of the devastating effect Ebola or infection with Ebola virus has had in the world. Early detection of disease could also take place at the abattoirs where traditionally meat inspectors play a significant role. Meat inspection is, significantly, is similarly a significant step to prevent the spread of pathogens to humans. In South Africa, even in the most advanced veterinary clinics, veterinarians cannot make it on their own. They need the services of highly trained, efficient nurses. Their duties include post-operative care of patients, 
and administration of pre prescribed medicines according to scheduled times. This profession is, however, a signif is significant for the general management of patients and clinics. Veterinary technologists play a significant role in the management of the laboratories and ensure that proper tests are conducted to make an accurate diagnosis. Similarly, laboratory technicians help ensure that ethical research is being conducted. These are also relevant for research to consider aspects related to human health. Currently, the number of registered veterinarians, animal health technicians, laboratory technicians, technologists, nurses in South Africa stands at 3,176, 1,049, 18, 286, 620 respectively. A significant additional number of these registered paraprofessionals are also overseas. We do have an additional category that we call animal welfare workers that we authorize and the number stands at 311. It is clear, therefore, that collaboration is significant between the various professions. More significant for the success of the farmer and to ensure food security globally, veterinary extension and preventative actions are the most cost-effective solutions. It is common knowledge that curative interventions are very expensive. For long-term maintenance of risk management, extensive vaccination of animals for diseases of economic importance is significant. Is significant. I wish to inform you that as the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries, I am unwilling to fund an army of veterinarians and paraprofessionals who are only there to fight outbreaks of animal diseases. These professionals also need to educate the public in preventative measures. In Africa, as my president said in this hotel last week, uh, there are five economic development zones of which three of them have already agreed to enter into an agreement of intertrade. The strategy for Africa is to ensure that Africa develops with the intention to enhance economic collaboration with the number of countries in Africa and the population. If intra-Africa trade is enhanced, there will be tremendous benefit for its people. Sanitary issues will continue, will pose a significant barrier unless we move towards harmonizing uh, these sanitary matters. Veterinary professionals and paraprofessionals will play a significant role in the reassurances needed to ensure that trade in animals and animal products in these EDZs or economic development zones takes place. I welcome you to South Africa and urge you to share your experiences in order to en enhance one another's efforts in addressing challenges faced by your respective countries. I am informed that at the end of this conference, there will be conference resolutions. I believe you all know that resolutions are there to be implemented. I therefore wish you successful deliberations, deliberations in this conference, and thank you very much. <laughs>